Good evening. In the previous video I showed you how the house is glued on the base. The base is made of out of cardboard and there is a little bit of uh, raised level in order to be able to install some terrace and paved road which I already cut to size and sanded. It's from an old furniture piece of furniture and I will glue it into place after it is carved. We still have to carve the stones. And I give, gave it already a start, as you can see. They are carved now. This is willow. And I should add that plastic can't replace the charm of a real carved road. And if you can see my finger, you know how small this is. Each stone is about 3 millimeters wide and I estimate like 4.5 millimeters long. And after this will be carved, one, after it is carved, we will just glue it into place. like that. So what I did is I sanded the poplar, this poplar, which is a really a precious wood because it is very gentle. It can be carved easily. The first thing I did was I traced the lines with a pencil. As you can see it is traced. And then you start to divide each stone. Here the stones are divided and at the sides um, here and, um, yes here at the sides the stones are much bigger as you have noticed and I did that on purpose because then it's imitation of of a real road well this is not a road it's just a terrace but I choose for the road style how street is made to do that the same in front of the house I was hesitating to, to carve square stones, but I decided to keep it simple. And the carving itself is nothing more than just cutting chips out of the wood. And you start to make perpendicular cuts. You make a perpendicular a cut. And I just let show you quickly how it's done so that you get an ID. And then I cut around one stone. Once I have done this perpendicular cutting with a chisel of two millimeters wide sharp one. Then I start to cut away the corners. And from the other side I do the same two corners. And I round the stone. There's nothing more to it. That's how it's done. We have our stone here. Well, it's not really completely done, 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 but it's okay. And so uh, I did all the stones. I um, it costs a lot of time to do this, and I recommend you to not do it hours and hours because then you might get crazy. 
and you can do it every day, like a little bit after work. And over the years, you might finish the whole city. So that's how the road is done. After the carving, it will be glued into place with some clamps, and the result is very charming. Here at the at this side here will come a little channel and the water mill here in this side will come here in this side. Mm. Now I should know that the three supports they they have to to be made as well. I um I decided to to make those from a piece of poplar which is in this case I think from it, it came from firework which I found in the street this piece of wood as you can see my finger shows that it isn't that thick it's quite small and that one we will use for for the supports The, the supports come there under three three pieces and we need a clamp for that and I I will look for a clamp and show you that in the next video how the supports are done because before we finish the carving we should already know where the support will be glued because on the spot where the support is coming we can't carve because then it won't hold we should leave that place uncarved because like that uh, we can glue it there into place and maybe I would use a toothpick as a kind of dowel but I'm not sure if I I will do that I will see till the next video and uh, we will make then the, the two the three supports for the for the overhang of the roof